Hey guys, it's Marie. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, this is a life update. It's currently November 30. It's been three days? Four days? Four days since my surgery. Um, This vlog is about that surgery actually. So basically, I had a breast cyst removed. I take you guys with me during the operation and the CBC and stuff like and the labs and stuff like that. But during the consultation, I wasn't able to because I didn't think it was vlog worthy. We scheduled a checkup with my doctor who is very nice. She's at SM. Her name is Dr. Akasme. She told me there was a mask there and then we got it ultrasound after that. She said we're gonna remove it now again. Yeah, so if you wanna see my journey on this surgery, this is actually my first not my second man, my second surgery. But this one is different. Kay get OR get go. So if you wanna see then keep on watching. So yeah. Yes, it's Marie. But now I just got my labs done. And I peed and I got my blood drawn. So I didn't take a video of me drawing blood because one, I don't want to see my face and two I don't want to see my face. I'm scared of the needle. So usually I don't like to take a video of that because I don't want to see. I kind of went to multiple toilets because they're closed. It's 8 in the morning. Hey guys, so I just got my lab test done. I got ACBC and I got a urinalysis. And I'm gonna get my x-ray on Wednesday because that's what I need for my surgery. And I'm also gonna get my swab on Friday because my surgery is on Sunday. And I'm doing this just to document, I guess. Um, it's for a it's for a breast cyst. I already got my checkup like two weeks ago, I think. So it's a cyst on my left breast. It's kind of like a lump for you. Maybe on Wednesday or on Friday or on maybe the surgery day. Yeah, so I'll see you whenever. <laughs> Get in the swab test today. Okay. <laughs> 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 it's the November. It's November twenty sixth, and I just got my uh, swab test today. I was supposed to get my x-ray too but then they weren't allowing if you didn't have your swab results so I just got my swab and so far it didn't really hurt as bad as I thought it was gonna because I've experienced worse in Manila before. But tomorrow is my surgery. Today just like finishing up things and tomorrow morning will be my surgery and I'm really scared but at the same time I'm not but yeah. Good morning everybody. Currently 4, it's 4.15 or something and I'm eating breakfast because my doctor said I should eat breakfast at like 4 a.m. so I can drink my medicine. Today is the day by the way. Wait, the surgery isn't that early. Um, I just have to eat breakfast I think how many hours before so the medicine kicks in I think. Swiss Miss right here and bread. Mm. But I'm going back to sleep now and I will wake up at like 7.30 or 7 for my surgery. So wish me luck. <laughs> it's a D day, everybody. <laughs> it's 8 in the morning. And I'm scared. <laughs> it's okay. You pray. Wish me luck. <laughs> no, stand over there. <laughs> Yeah, that's it. Yeah, it's done. Hello and welcome to my crib. 
This is my first time. Pray for me. <laughs> Night one, and I got my sister. She been me because well, she been me like a nurse because no. she's a nursing student, but she been me well. Oh. It's so hard because it, I feel it. <laughs> my big, oh yeah, so I can't really hurt. I've been icing it every 15 minutes, so that's that. But it really hurts. I took my medicine na uh, antibiotic, but for the pain, every 12 hours pa. So, tomorrow na lang siguro. Even though it really hurts, I'm gonna go to sleep peacefully, but I can't move. So, yeah. It really hurts. Suck it, guys. I hate it. Kanina, kagina, it didn't hurt. But then now, like, do ula na bala ni si or anything. The pain, the pain. Today is dressing day, everybody. It's currently Tuesday. Hey guys, so while I was editing this video, I realized I didn't have an outro. But this is the outro for you guys. I just had my dressing this morning and it was okay. I just saw the stitch. It was a little, it was tiny. But I'm gonna insert here the picture of the cyst. If you don't wanna see it, then you can just skip. But it's, this one is kind of big, actually. A lot of people were shocked when they saw it. Um, we already got it biopsied, so we're still waiting on the results. But hopefully it's benign. But yeah, this video is kind of like an awareness video, I guess, because it's very common. Especially if you have a history of breast CA. My great-grandmother had one, my aunt had one, so it's kind of scary. My sister also had a cyst and my mom too, so they got it removed as well. So, you know, if you're scared, I know it's, it can be scary, but we do have physical exams a lot, but you should also do it by yourself. Um, I think they always advise how to do it. So just feel it and I'm super thankful I noticed it because I don't wear I don't wear bras a lot so I noticed it when I was wearing my nipple pad I was like mm, there's something there I was really scared actually but you know your if your family is there to support you uh, they will help you through it all and I like to thank my mom and my siblings and my dad and my family for helping me because like my dad was the one getting my eyes for me and my mom was um, with me the whole time because I was really scared. I'm scared of needles. I'm scared of surgeries I've never been admitted to a hospital before so that was a first for me So I'm super thankful. I have them if you have any more questions don't hesitate to DM me I will answer them and yeah, so it all happened really really fast um, It started in October. I noticed it and then two weeks after my period I got it checked and then ultrasound and then surgery and it was all really quick from there so i would also like to thank my doctor who was really really nice i'm so comfortable with her that i get to joke around her like i even requested during the surgery i told her to play some bts songs so that i wouldn't feel as scared because i would be i was awake the whole time she didn't play bts songs so sadly yeah so if you're scared it's okay it's normal it's just an awareness i think that you should be able to know if there's something wrong with you um, I was really scared, but then, you know, it's done, and I'm super thankful it's done. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.